On the far, forgotten reaches of the west coast of Vancouver Island lies a small town struggling to deal with the demise of the fishing and logging industries. This is Tofino, a town without compromise, a town without stoplights, a town without housing, a town without internet. A small group has emerged with the answer to the unfortunate question, how will Tofino survive? Tofino, we really depend on a, a resource economy. It's really basic here in Tofino. It's all about the trees and the fish, the logging, the fishing. Things are changing though, and you know, we know we need to diversify. And, and I think that stand-up puddle boarding has real potential. This is something people are getting onto all around the world. I, I know we could be a center for stand-up puddle boarding here in Tofino. Dude, it's totally firing right now. Oh yeah? How big? Yeah, I don't know, let me check. It's totally double over ankle. Sick. My name is Joe Martin, and I'm a puddle board carver, which has been passed on for many, many generations. This is my main puddle board carving tool, and it's worn down quite a lot. It used to be that big. Now it's worn down to there because of all the thousands of puddle boards I've carved. Uh, puddle boarding uh, carving uh, goes back a long ways in our family from my dad's 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 People think surfing started in the ocean, but if you think about it, what came first, the ocean or the puddle? And puddle boarding goes way back. Yeah, so uh, I used to be a traditional uh, board shaper, but uh, since catching my first clean puddle, man, I was hooked. Yeah, and for the uh, the kind of puddles we get out here, you know, they're really fat and mushy. You really should consult with a local shaper. Puddle forecasting is definitely not the easiest thing. I mean, you know, some people think it's just about rainfall, but it's not that simple. I mean, there's the rain, sure, but then there's extra ocean precipitation, and then there's tides and how that affects the puddles and oh, and oh. Well, dude, I just got tubed. What? Where are you? Yeah, dude, I'm tubed right now. Get over here. Man. People don't understand how dangerous this sport can be. It's much more unpredictable than the ocean. Take care, man. Thank you. Hey, Willie. Dude, the tourists are back in town. Rosie Puddle is so packed. Yeah, last night at North Puddle, it was crazy packed. With climate change and stuff, the, uh, the puddle season seems to be getting shorter and shorter, and the future of the sport seems threatened. A lot of our prime puddle spots are drying up faster. Dude, you should have been here an hour ago, man. No way! Just putting up a little closer here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good puddle. It's one of those ephemeral things, you know? I mean, you're paddling hard, you set up a good line, maybe get a turn or two in, and then vanished. It's gone. And then you're just searching for that next puddle. 
trying to get that next big ride.